I want you guys, we're going to take that same idea and realize we didn't have to write all of that. We looked at this and from all the work we've done this week, you guys know how to pull a radical apart. And we really could have ju done just this. The rest of this is just showing other ways to get to that answer. Let's take a look now at this expression x to the second and y to the one half to the fourth power times this radical with an index of three y to the third. Ooh, more numbers. I know. It looks crazy, but let's just take it piece by piece. We're going to take this one here apart and multiply each piece to that fourth. So the x is going to be 2 times 4. The y is going to be 1 half times 4. And what do you guys think is going to happen with this radical y? It's, it's, going, to y. Y. it's, it's, it's y. just going to be y. I knew it. To the first power, but I'm going to leave it at off. That's the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, and you're yeah. by like what is 2 to the four, times 4? Four? 8. So this is going to be x to the 8th. What's the y power going to be? 2. two. two. And this is a y. So you combine them. So they're going to be combined to become y to the third. I know. It looks really crazy when you start, but if you just start looking at the pieces. Excellent. Okay, I want you guys to try this problem. And we will compare our answers in just a minute. Can you guys see it all the way back there? Yeah. So that's an index of 4, x to the 4th, y to the 12th. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, who wants to tell me what they got? Good, what is it? X, X and Y to the third power. X and Y to the third power is right. Yay. How did we get that? This is the index of four. How many X's are there? Four. four. So when we pull them out of the radical, it's represented as this X. Yep. And there's three sets of four in the 12. That's why this is at Y to the third. Okay. Um, I'm going to have you guys just practiced eight of these, like yesterday. Uh, two of them are in the form of a fraction. <clears throat> so they look like this x, y to the one half to the second power over the radical and let's do this slowly here. What happens if I take this x to the second power? It just becomes x to the second because there's an invisible one here and one times two is two. What would happen with the y's power? It becomes just y, right? Yeah, because two times one half is gonna be a one and then we'll just leave it invisible. What's gonna happen to this radical? It becomes x. Okay. And then I subtract this x from this x it equals x y okay problems to practice today are on page 491 again <clears throat> and I want you guys doing numbers 23 to 30 
It's eight problems. I I can count. It's eight problems. You're not counting 23. You're subtracting the difference, and that's not the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, 23 exists. Yeah, I'm not counting 23, of course. Because I'm listening to my audio book. Mm -hmm. No. Stop it. Uh, when you finish today, I'm going to have you guys getting your notebook set up for next week because we're going to put a new tab in it. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to leave some space in case we come back to radicals. But uh, the rest of Chapter 7 is polynomials. Oh, and we yeah. started on Monday. Yes, polynomials. polynomials. No, poly. And not Polly wants a cracker, no. Polly, 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 Polly,